such a better club form. Right. Hit the 6 200. Pretty good. 197. I'm going to tell you this, and you can yeah. take it for what it's worth. Your long irons are too, too soft for you. Too weak. My irons are weak? You're soft. Oh, your six soft. irons are money. Soft. Look what your six iron just did. Look at the different swing. And, and look at how good that swing was. That was like the seven. I mean, so it's basically. It's a, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a better swing than I put on the three, and it's but it's the same swing. Very, the same you're, swing. You're the same person. Nothing changed but the club. Only so ten yards difference between the three and the six. Yeah. Okay. That's so you're really not so losing distance, remember. right? Because that's pretty comparable. Dude, you can hit that, right? One ninety-five. He tested one of the stiffest ones. I believe it. Always tough. He was in the two ninety-eight. I believe it. Yeah. And now whether or not I'm not saying you need to get those systems because you're hitting your clubs fine. I'm just saying that. Food for thought, you know, and I mean, you might want to look into saying three or a what four. What can I do without really having the cost of swapping out shafts on the four or three and whatever? Yeah, and you could talk to... Take you, some weight off? Try that. That's a great idea. See, but that, as long as the field doesn't get screwed up, that could happen. You could mess around with it. I mean, yeah, I, I tell Dan, I told you guys, I said, I don't really care. If, I mean, everyone thinks I, I, I don't own this freaking club company. It's Mike's thing. I just fit people. Yeah. Like, I'm John Wright. I mean, yeah. the only difference is that I get the, I have a distributor of the territory, so I can decide who fits and who doesn't. So I really don't give a shit. I can help you do this back door if you want. There's a way to do it. Is it going to be as? Are they going to perform perfect? I don't know. But we can. If you want to, if you want to tool around it, it won't cost you much money. You're just tooling well, around. I can see what's available for those weight cartridges, and that's just the have, easiest change ever. Try, pop easy, them try them. And if you want to do something, come in here for a half hour, you know, and we can pop them in and pop them out, and we can get in there to where we get the same numbers. I mean, I'm just going off. It's really good. You're you're this you were this close to fucking yourself up because you're showing me a three iron and Dan and I are kind of freaking out yeah. when we're looking at your attack angle and then you pull out a six iron and pipe it. There's nothing fucking wrong. It's the goddamn club. It's not you. Yeah. So if you start screwing around with the different weights, if Brad gives you like just says, here, give me a bunch of these weights. Whatever I use, I'll buy. Tell him, and then we'll give him back the ones he doesn't use, and we just spend a half hour tooling them. Mm -hmm. We could dial in all those pretty damn yeah. close. Yeah. Now the weight might feel goofy. I don't know what the swing weights will be. There and I don't have to yeah. think about it. I keep saving you a thousand bucks. Mike did this years ago with the medallions. But the problem is the medallions fell off. Uh, that's why he had them. Uh, oh. Because then he could put the shaft in and just the weight to where it's where it's even out. We that's can, Dave, Dave, we can pretty much get 50% of the pie. The only thing you'll miss is the MOI weighting, which is actually more for speed, but you got a lot yeah. of speed, so. Yeah. Um, and, and that speed the and MOI feel. Helps We're probably out. only talking a few grams difference. Is yeah. what I'll be able to change at least. Yeah, but the, you should be able to change affect, five or so. It can affect the frequency. It affects a ton. Yeah. It'll stiffen yeah. the shit out of those irons. Yeah. And you might have some long irons, short irons that are too stiff. We might be able to take your existing set and just pop them around and yeah, see what yeah. the, their different weights or. Because you're, you're one of the only sets that you can do that with. I'm serious. Not anybody can do it. I mean, I, 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 and that's why I want, and that's why I was telling you, Dad, on the phone. Yeah. I was like, I want you guys to understand. I got no problem doing stuff like that. I'm just gonna be straight up and honest and be like, hey, this is kind of like the back door, like you know, uh, you know, schoolyard basketball way to do it, kind of ghetto. But we could do. I got no problem doing it. I'm just not. I, I'm not saying it's gonna come out perfect, but it can get a lot closer. And that's what I was trying to say about tour players. They might not do exactly what we do. I believe ours is the best way to build the club. I've tested everything, but conversely, a lot of tour players, they don't have your speed but you look at a guy like I'll tell you right now like Tom's and Singh all their short irons are significantly softer as far as that 5-0 cycle goes and their stiff irons are stiffer and the reason is is because of what you just saw on your set you know we saw a six iron at a perfect D loft and we saw a three iron attack and up that's all the shaft kicking at the bottom that's all it is so yeah a little lighter weight on that you'll be cooking okay. Six is pretty good, man. Six is, I mean, six is the club. Yeah. I mean, he piped it every time six he hit it. Yeah. Yeah. He just smokes it. Yeah. Not bad, though. Six yeah. iron is it? That six iron is his uh, number, huh? Yeah. You're saying it would be close. It would be perfect. Yeah. At least the ones I've seen. Yeah. It's closer to where he needs to be, and we can we can really backdoor do it with those, to be honest. I got no problem with that. I'll help you with that. And the heel, though, dude. Spun the shit out of it to hit it on the heel. First one was a good miss. Those numbers were good. And I thought that was a really good swing, but it's just this thing spinning through the roof. And I would say that was pretty center because the face reacted to that. Um, 
Could be the same issue where it's a little soft. It's Typically, fun. when a shaft it's an HD8X, man, it doesn't matter because you, you don't understand. I mean, again, I'm gonna no, explain. I, I, I know what you're saying, but but, but frequency works like this. And this is what Brad will fight with me on, but he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about with this because this is what I know because the guys that got Mike's a goddamn engineer. Right. It works in cycles of about 30 in harmonics. That could be three fucking 50, but play play significantly softer the way it loads and loads right. because of the harmonic. Right. So it, it it is what it is. I mean, I'm just saying I'm not saying that's correct. I'm just saying a typical pattern that I see when a shaft is too soft for somebody is the face is open relative to the path and the ball spins too much. That's something I see. Could have been the swing. It could have been. I'm just throwing that at you. I don't want to blame it all on clubs. I'm sure somewhere in the middle is the answer. But I'm just saying. Now, now, just strengthen your grip on this one and see what happens. Because what you could do is, you know, what ends up happening is you end up having to change grips on every... That was as good a swing as you can make, and again, it's 6,000 RPMs. I hit my fucking two be. iron past you, uh, probably about 35. So you hit that 230 in the air. If this changes based on this number, okay, if this was 3,500, this is about 265 in the air, and this is about 290, 285 roll. Yeah, with that speed. Hey, with that speed. Do one, have to do this where you hit it off the toe. Hit, hit one, one way off the toe. Hit one off the toe. So what happened? Same thing. 6,000 RPMs. The spin's way too much. Too much. The launch is low and the spin why is, is high. It, why is that happening? Club? Probably. Yeah. This path is stuff looks pretty good. I mean, I'm gonna let Dan be the deterrent of the swing. Like yeah, I feel like you're more on the top. It's on the heel. But yeah, no good. Bottom right. heel. Bottom. Okay. Way off the toe, Dave. Just shits and giggles. Like, let's get silly. All right, come here. Yeah. I'm going to get silly, man. I almost missed it. But look, at, look at your spin. But look at the spin, spin went, down. went down. You just missed hit it bad, but the spin went down. Well, you told me to hit it there. Well, I okay, know. so move it in just a little bit. Let's <laughs> go a little bit now. If you want it on the groove. Now. But see, that carries 220, and you didn't even hit it good. Yeah, that was. Uh, and guess what? Your speed. The good up. one with the high spin was. Okay, the good, good one, one went 238 was... total. That one went 200 and that one went 247 total. Oh. It's got to be better. Yeah. Okay. Better. 235. 252 total. This was our. This was the one. Or just the one. Yeah. Okay, so 235 at 5900 RPMs versus 252 at 3600 RPMs. Especially when I'm hitting it solid. It's you're, you're too close. You, you grew up, David. You grew up with me with the um, smaller headed drivers. Yeah. Where you hit it more towards the neck. I used to tow it. Yeah, but you need it. You need. Well, but if you tow the like, here's the thing, Dave. You gotta tow this to make it even somewhat playable. That's the problem. I mean, do you find that that goes short? I wasn't from. And I know that's a hot head. I mean, you swung that 110 miles an yeah, hour and you hit your three with 240. I mean, come on, yeah. dude. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Dude. Seriously? I'll swing it 100 and I'll hit it and I'll carry it 260 all day, all flipping day. I'll swing it. I'll swing it 10 miles an hour slower. Watch this. 110. That's like a driver speed. You got abundance of speed. It's about how fast I'm swinging my driver right now. A little bit slower, but not much. Yeah. What is that? Like 100? Not even 100. 101. It sounds like okay. the Delorean. Getting go hit your go three wood really quick just to show them this. <laughs> so I mean. Again, I think your biggest thing is is if you can get some weight kits or you can do some fun stuff. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't, don't think when I mean you guys, I was trying to get. Don't think that club. I don't do clubs. I teach. I, I do it if no, people I, need them. I, I so if you want to come in here and bring something and like screw with it, that's what we should do. And I think that because of you know knowing Brad as well as you do, I think you can get some cool weight kits and we can really get close. When, when I had 98, what was the distance? Did you notice? Uh, <laughs> he's pretty good. <laughs> a little high spin there. Yeah, I heard he's good. Do it again, but still. What is that? 254, 3900. <laughs> 258, 3700. 
I'm 106, right? I was 106, yeah. yeah. I'll do a little more. Good. Did you find my distance on that one? Yeah, we'll get it. I think it's like 232 or something. 257, 3000. Yeah, so I, I shallowed it out and hit it more. Shallowed out and hit it more that way. Whose club is yeah. that? Mine, that's at the. Oh, you got a ping? Yeah, that was from Piners. You want to have in Piners. Uh, so that carry was. It's only 235. I don't know if that's correct. I don't know, what what? I don't know why it's coming off low. It should be a little more. Well, let me do one more 239. We got time. I've, I've got some time, so go ahead. I started a little late with the goal. Who do you get next? I was supposed to have uh, a Alton burger. Oh. Sometimes I forget. Heads up, Steve, because of the. Uh, have him just take yours. Let's just see what happens. Not that that's correct, but let's just see. Oh, nice. I want to ask you two seconds to do that. Sure. Look at the club at speed. You just picked up 15 yards in the air. Look at the speed. 112. 112 with your swing. I thought it swung easier than Yeah, you were swinging it. You were you were hitting you were hitting yours wrong. Either. Yeah, I mean that was 245 in the air. Could be way 261. Could what be a combination. I, I mean, again, I don't. It's probably closer because of the harmonic. I mean, even though it might not yeah, be the same, right. but with the harmonic, it's yeah, probably you know, closer. Cycle, not that be. that's even right for you. I mean, I yeah. again. But the, the swing was good, everything was good. the right good. harmonic on a totally wrong number could be better than the right number on the wrong harmonic. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I've always liked this driver with him. Yeah, he I has. Know. I remember he hit it on here before yeah. and he didn't have much spin. Yeah. I think if anything, just looking at your clubs, what's good and what's bad, and then trying what you can do, I mean. What do you want to do with Kyle? A track man or putting? Whatever he wants. Yeah. I think he's fine on putting. I made every fucking putt I've heard. <clears throat> Yeah, any questions with putting with him? It's funny though, he only swings that driver a mile an hour faster than the three wood. Yeah. But the launch characteristics are pretty good. Well, yeah, that one wasn't as good. But you're carrying that like 265. That's a lot better though. You know, this one was a better driver, you know. 165, 2700. I mean, I don't I mean I don't really have any issues with your driver. I think it's a pretty good club. I mean I mean I'm pretty fucking picky. So like I like to see it at 2200. The only thing I don't like, and again this is uh, I saw this today with the kid, and I wish I could was more intelligent to show you this. He got a Nike driver, the new one, and I see nothing but shit. But he's actually hitting it really well. Like his launch and his spin were really good, but he was swinging it probably eight miles an hour slower than his other one that was the exact same length, and the other one was heavier. So I was like, I don't even, and he was only like 13. I was like, how the hell does that matter? So that's the only thing I'm noticing is that the speed proportionally with your driver isn't that much faster than your three wish. Now hold off on any kind of jumping around on that because I'm having my, because I have that issue with mine. I swing my three wood like 111 and I swing my driver like 112. It's like really weird. So I'm having Mike do an experiment on some weight with me on a driver, on a little lighter head and some things like that. Um, but butt waiting too, uh, butt waiting. Yeah. Other than that though, but other than that, like on the drive, I don't think the driver is a problem. Probably. No. Yeah. It's the I problem. Know it's been very close to fitting me. Right. I would say like I, I would not. I mean, it wouldn't be worth yeah. any any, any a, a large amount of money. You might you, like you could hit it about 10 or 15 yards. I didn't further, want to change it. Yeah, but it's I mean, really good. The three wood is three wood to me is pretty like, shit. Spins like I want to learn how to hit the driver. Right. I think that school, I think that what you can do. But what, well, what might happen, Dave, is that if you start doing what I want you to do, the driver might have to be changed then because the spin yeah. is a little bit on the high side, and the more you hit up on it and add a little more loft on it, like right where you're at right now, the What's driver's fine. Angle, 14? 14, which is fine. The spin is just like what you want to do. The spin is Drop just a little about high. 500. You know what I mean? It's like Dan's launching the three wood lower than that. Yeah. You know, but what you're looking at is... Well, that's what I want to do is play a little bit of track man golf and see if I can hit it a little bit better to get well, the spin right, down well, hit, touch. One, hit, hit a high draw for me. That's the only way that you can play that driver, high draw. So I need you to feel like you're hitting it higher. So get a little more tilt. Yeah. That head might just be dead. The spin's not bad. Hit this pretty good on the course. Yeah. I'll wait for that other. Do another one. I didn't get it. I don't know. Someone maybe. Well, let's give it. Just give it a little space in front of there, because sometimes it's. But that was really good. Hang on, hey, one Steve? second, Dave. Steve, why don't you check out? 
Once you check out the vineyard, then you can check out of the spot. Check out of two. You check got, out of both two. You're both boosting both it, people. but I had to reboot it. Hang on. Oh, sorry. That was my fault. I wish it didn't have to shut down. Sometimes it just shuts down. Okay. After after I get done with Dave, yeah. What? Yeah, Dave's my last one. Okay. Go ahead. You want to go on the putting green and look at putts, Kyle? Yeah, I just came back with this. It gets crowded, but we can see how it is. Right away when it works, you do the shitty one. Ah. Didn't pick up your spin because it was so low, but he towed it. But that was that was pretty good. I mean, that was more attack angle. So what you're after, what we're after to find out now, hit another one. What we're after right now is to see how high can we how how high can we launch it and keep the spin down. Yeah. Because exactly, we're really what you, exactly what I want to do. Right, and that's what and that's where that high draw feel is. What that's what does it. You know what I'm saying? That was money. Okay. We didn't get this part, but that's okay. I know what those would have been for whatever reason. It's just getting weird here with the light. But 13.5, 2,500, I mean, that's some good stuff. That's you know, perfect. Just normalize it. There might be a little bit more than that. It's really more 28. That's going to turn into a Pro V. You're going to carry that about 275 ish. Going to go about three bills. Okay. Outside off of a T box is probably with probably 315. It's probably carrying more like 285. Is that about right when you hit one really good? Okay. Now, your speed and stuff is all really good. I mean, you got you got good speed. I would hit. I think the driver is solid. I think that if you get to the point where it cracks, or you get to the point where you're just saying, "I need to get a new driver." I've been thinking about getting an R1, but I'm playing with shafts and whole new head and everything. It's fucking R1, the garbage thing. Man. I don't care what the fuck nothing, nothing the job says. I've had five people in here today with the fucking R1, and they've all been fucking just. Yeah. Now. Brad might be able to hook you because hook you up because I know what I heard I heard a rumor from the grapevine that they got different like they had a, they oversold and they had a different weighting of heads. So maybe if he because if Brad does it, I'm sure he could do it right. Well, I know what the head weights are for this and what I what you think want it is to too be. heavy and what I want okay. it to be. So you could I try already know it. that. Why don't you see if I mean see if well, you could always go to Brad or bring one in here and test yeah. and just check and see if it's worth your money. Yeah. I can tell you with a shirt with a hundred percent shirt from my standpoint, you will not bring in a driver here. That you have a that that probably spins much less than that new Callaway. Yeah. Like that thing has been just out of control with the spin. So I mean, it's one of those deals. I would just recommend borrowing something and testing it. Yeah. Because especially tell, when, tell them to give me a couple of heads in the gram.